In East Texas, there stands an abandoned hospital where over 2,000 people are said to have died during its operation. Today, we go on location and explore the stories surrounding one of the most haunted locations in Texas, the Yorktown Memorial Hospital. This is Red Web. Welcome back to another Red Web Monday. A special episode if you're listening audio only, we encourage you to go to youtube.com slash redwebpod. I'm Trevor Collins, your host. With me, as always, with the gut checks, Alfredo Diaz, as well as the producer, Christian Young. Hello. We're at Yorktown Memorial Hospital in person to explore this location, a location we explored on Haunter, a show you can check out at roosterteeth.com for free, the first season anyway. Otherwise, become a first member to check out that second season. Otherwise, this is just a Halloween special. We wanted to do something cool. So we are back. Very cool. <laughs> cool. So we're going to walk Very through close. the story, the background of this place, some of the sightings you can expect. And then we're going to kick these cameras off their tripods. We're going to go into, into the field. And I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I just keep getting these like waves of chills because I, I hate having my back to a long dark hallway and the only reason that this is even slightly okay is because i there are people and i'm focusing on that and there's a green light and it gives me a little bit of visibility fredo you're sitting sideways <laughs> keeping an eye out i appreciate it bro i have not loosened my grip on this <laughs> mic stand for the past 15 minutes no joke i don't know um, if we have any extra b-roll but you've been white knuckling this <laughs> mic stand staring backwards like, like a mannequin <laughs> it is worth saying that we are in the entrance, like the lobby of the place right now. Yes. Alfredo has not seen any other inch of this place. I haven't seen anything. I just know that this place is, I want to be respectful. Sure. Um, uh, this place is not somewhere I want to be in personally. <laughs> Myself might be nice for anyone else that's here. Um, I see that there's a dark flight of stairs to a basement <laughs> right over that there. also goes to a second floor. Yep. Mm -hmm. And yep. Then, um, at, at the end there, it's a, there's a chapel. There's a chapel at the end Just of that hallway. Just right icing there. on the yeah. cake. Do you have any tattoos? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, you'll be fine in the chapel. Mm -hmm. Shane, um, on the other hand, one of our cam ops tonight, we'll see what happens. Uh, and on top of that, I'm told that there's like a seven foot snake. Oh yeah, that's real. That's apparently. actually here. that's not like, a joke. Yeah, that's not a, actually not a joke. A we were that's great. That's just like looming around the corner somewhere. That's yeah, fantastic. Do we um, have insurance or workers' comp or any anything prepared, or is this completely off the books? Look, the pause does not <laughs> does not help at all. <laughs> Hold on but I think I think that some of the things that are very unsettling about this is the fact that like I mean, look, you don't gotta do much convincing to me. I'm being told this place is haunted. A lot of bad stuff goes down. I'm here. I believe it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but hearing stories about a place is one thing from like random people to uh, that gets trickled down to your friends and your friends tell you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm sitting across Christian right now who's had an actual experience here. It's true. Yeah, I've been here before. Um, this man's been here before and has had an actual experience. Mm -hmm. I don't like that because I trust that man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's unsettling to <laughs> yep. me. Oh, I appreciate both, hearing that. Both Christian and Nick have both been here before. They both have an experience. We're going to go through the background of this location, how it came to be, things that have gone on here, some of the morbid history. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to dive into the sightings. And I think that's a great way, if you're comfortable with it, yeah. to kick off the sightings portion. And then, like I said, we're going to dive into this place. We're going to look at some of the key locations as well as some of the uh, the named ghosts. There are, there are some specters here that have proper names and habits. It's fucked up, bro. <laughs> Here's what's happening. I'm trying so hard <laughs> not to... Just while out with the show I'm saying right now. <laughs> uh, let me tell you. We are still uh, clean rating on this podcast. Right. We we'll still have that to keep in mind. Yeah. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Let me tell you, there's only... I'm calm now. You don't have to censor half the stuff I say on this damn Listen, episode. Listen, instincts are what they are. 
Make yourself feel comfortable. Man, come on, man. Here's what's happening. Uh, you, I, I am creeped out myself, but what's happening is you are embodying all of it. And so you are giving me this faux bravery. And what I really, what mm -hmm. really emboldens me is the fact that you're just echoing down the hallways with how fearful you are. I feel like you've painted yourself as the target that I, I might just waltz no, these see, halls free. You go waltz in with some confidence. That's mm. not good. <laughs> you know, I'm checking every corner. If someone creeping around, I might see it, might catch it, better chance to, and then I'm out. You know so you're saying? thinking you're going to catch the ghost I'm, or I'm, are you going to run? I'm thinking if I see like a leg turn and pull itself into a doorway, <laughs> signs, okay, right. crop field, right, stop side, that. Across, you know what I mean? Then like oh, yeah. signs, you're talking signs, I'm talking signs, talking the birthday scene, um, the birthday party. I was just saying time that when the crop fields and he like drops the light and he picks it up, oh, and yeah, picks yeah, it up and yeah. the yeah. leg twists and oh, goes into no hell. Yeah, because I was no. I was just thinking about that. Every time I look down, <laughs> everyone there. here just like a deep <laughs> breath. <laughs> it's like a real deep breath. It's that kind of stuff you're gonna see. And you go, did I see yeah. that? I, I don't it's, know. I don't. It's the fingers coming around the door frame. It's it's the the blurs of movement when you just looked. It's it's that kind of stuff. It's the chairs that look like people. It's the it's dude, any of this it. sucks. I already I don't you even know if this is an anything, encounter. Dude. I didn't even mess with this door. The the front door is right here. You might hear some road noise. Bear with us. But the front door is right here. And I don't know if this is an experience, but like. You guys went to walk into the place and I was mm -hmm. like, all right, I saw it. I'm going to head out. We had some food that we were going to eat. And yeah, we did a quick tour when we showed up. Yeah. yeah. I was and not um, a part of that tour. I have not seen anything of this correct. place so far. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I'll be honest. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this episode. They're like, that's not a joke. Like, and that's I, fair. I, no I'm not, here's the thing. Clue. I don't want to push you beyond your comfort zone. If you need to leave, you got to leave. If it makes you feel better, I think the only reason I feel even slightly close to fine is because I've been here before. Do we need a code a code word? That's like pineapples. scream out mama mia. <laughs> That's the <laughs> dumbest logic I've ever <laughs> heard in my life. Scream mama mia and I'll know I'm bolting because otherwise <laughs> if you two leave, I'm not I'm not caught I, in the depths of the place with a seven foot python yeah, and God you got knows. that brave shield that I'm giving you. Yeah, the, you that leave, brave energy I'm feeding leave, over to you right now. My aura of bravery goes with you. You're like my familiar <laughs> and it's based on your presence. Stop looking back there, man. Dude, You're freaking uh, me out. What do you mean, bro? All right. I'm got, I got your back. I'll talk about the door when we get to the door. sidings. I don't want to get ahead um, of myself. What's okay. up? What's up? Last thoughts before we dive in? No, I just don't get that damn logic. You know what I mean? Oh, I saw the grudge. So, like, it's cool. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Who's got that logic? You Christian yeah. was like, I've been here before. It's all good. Oh, right. Like, oh, say, he's like, I've been haunted you? before. I'm immune. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't say get me ghosts. Good. I just... <laughs> I've, you know, like you're a movie example. You've seen the movie before, so you know where all this. You're taunting them by saying I'm you're no, I don't even that say they're I'm ineffective. Taunting. You're taunting them by saying, saying I'm super scared. Come at me, and I'm just sitting here going. Anyway, <laughs> like, shall we dive in? Uh, yeah. How do you feel? You want to dive in? I I know what's in the outline, I and know. I still don't want to do this. There, there, <laughs> there was a moment. I'm going to keep burying the lead. There was a moment where we're driving the van down. I'm reading through the outline to get familiar with all the notes or whatever. And I come over a talking point. I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh. And then Nick in the front goes, oh, great. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. Because <laughs> I know once we go in here, Nick is he's our audio tech. And uh, as soon as we go further in, I think he's going out. Yep. <laughs> I don't think he's yep. kicking it. He's chilling I'm going to ask this to everybody. Mm -hmm. 20 grand. You stay in here for six hours by yourself. No. Six hours? No. Done. No. Not even close. Can I get like snake proof boots? <laughs> yeah. Just something snake, thick rubbery yeah, so I don't snake, get like bit by the real thing. Boots. Yeah, for sure. You okay. can have one light too. Like one flashlight. One? I don't know if that makes it better or worse. I think that makes it way worse. That makes worse. it way <laughs> damn worse, bro. You shine that light. You only see a little bit of everything. 20K. Six, six hours. hours though? Six it's, hours. It's like that movie. I'm, we're already doing <laughs> <laughs> It's, the number, it's Rooster Teeth's number one movie podcast. <laughs> well, what's the number? Like room 238 or whatever. Maybe that's the Shining Room. Like, but it's, like 213? You're talking about Simon Jackson? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1406. 1406. That, that well? Something. We don't, it's, it's, it's just we random are. numbers. But yeah. where uh, he goes into the room and it's like just been an hour in real time. But it yes. was like a lifetime for him. Yeah. The way this. So that that's the one what, with that's John what, Cusack? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. 1406. That sounds right. 14 yeah. something. Yeah. Samuel Jackson, John Cusack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. 
let's dive into this place a little bit. We are in Texas, the deep, deep heart of Texas, south of Austin, and uh, about halfway between San Antonio and the Gulf of Mexico in this small town of Yorktown. That's where we are right now. Yep. We saw it coming through. Pretty tiny. Not a lot of people are going to be here to help us. <laughs> this man's going to pad the episode so he can't go in there. He's like, oh, I time to wrap. I don't want to go, bro. <laughs> I, ooh, now, okay. this place that we are at is known to be one of the most haunted places, if not the most haunted place of Texas. There have been many paranormal investigators who have come through this place, and most of which have come out saying, most. yeah, this is very active. This location most. is a very active. That's my own word. I think the outline might just say, like implies all of them. I'm trying to give you some room for doubt. You know? So so we said, <laughs> we said, let's, let's not baby step into this let's just throw it into hard mode deep end yeah you, i didn't want to start with a baby haunt you know could it a baby my, step me into this i couldn't start you in my guest world. bathroom where the, you know the water <laughs> drips yeah and the just pipes talk to playing. the mirror with, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you play bloody mary a little bit um but this is the, a big location you might not be able to tell from this moment but there's a basement there's the upstairs there's this whole first floor it's thirty thousand square foot uh in size and this building was built in 1950 originally. And uh, as I mentioned, there are a couple floors here. Uh, there's a chapel down at the end of the hallway. We have so the basement. Why is the door open? To Plenty the chapel right of. Now? Well, like half the. There's two doors to this chapel airflow. at the end we of the really hall. really should have closed it, huh? And one is you open. Can you go close it? And the other one is. Can you go close that for me? Bro, <laughs> all the way off. <laughs> <laughs> all the way down to that hallway and off. Um, I think every door in this hall is open, too. Nope. Yep. They did say to leave it the way we they found did. it. Yeah. Because they don't want all the doors open. Yeah. But I can't help but all the doors are open. It's how we found it. It is how, we, how found we found it. it. Now, originally, this facility was run by the Felician sisters who opened the hospital just a year later after the first, you know, being built in 1951. And the Felician sisters are an institution of Catholic nuns. Now, before it opened, Yorktown didn't really have a hospital. So this was kind of putting it on the map, having a medical facility. And starting in 1986, the Yorktown Hospital also served primarily uh, as a drug and alcohol rehabilitation center. So it's had, a, it's had a long storied history of ups and downs, a very colorful history. So I was about to say, there'd be some really interesting characters that yeah. roam these halls. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I've seen 13 ghosts, you know what I'm saying? I, I just, you conjured that image of me with the guy with the nuts and bolts sticking out <laughs> oh, of his head. Oh, yeah. No magic glasses here, though. Mm. Nothing to stop you. Now, this place is like, there's furniture over here. When you walked in, we looked over there. There's some furniture over here. Now, aside from a few things, most of this stuff is in its original position. Fantastic. This is like original furniture. If you yeah. couldn't tell by the, well, various stains on this this nice little chair, um, no, or those not, books, if you decide to read... Do not pick any of Brain this allergies. Or the record Does player. Does that say brain allergies? Right I think so. I'm not touching I it. I think so. Don't pick anything up. Don't sit on anything. We are gonna. We you did bring. Did you bring your sage? I didn't bring anything. I forgot to get blessed this morning. I Something's have, coming home with us attached. I have salt in my backpack in case you're in case you're nervous. That's is not it, a joke. It, I'm it, gonna put I, you in a salt circle. Is it enough to put myself in a salt I'm circle? I'm dead to God. Have salt in my backpack. <laughs> That's Fredo, not a joke. So Haunter is a show that we uh, we're a part of a group called Achievement Hunter uh, at Rooster Teeth, and we have a show called Haunter. We've run two seasons of it. It's a first show on our website, Receive.com. Fredo had yet to be introduced to the series, but you did have like a character, a role that you wanted to play. Yeah. Do you want was, to talk about that? Uh, I was very luck reluctant to do it because it's just stupid. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> go out there chasing ghosts and, well, here and, you are. <laughs> and riling them up. Uh, wow. What a surprise. But um, yeah, everyone kind of had like a role and they were like, oh, what would your role be? Because mm -hmm. I was like, sure, well, you know, maybe, maybe you convince me. And I was like, I'll, I did it for Red Web. Here I am. Um, but I was like, oh, what role would you want to have? I'm like, let me tell you, I'm going in with every type of cross, uh, lucky rabbit's foot, sage, holy water, salt. I'm mm -hmm. salting myself in every room. Yep. I'm blessing everything I, I possibly can. 
I'm throwing crosses everywhere. Like skeleton key. Just you believe in it, it will work. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The power of belief. It also conjures up a very vivid image of that guy in the mummy who had uh, uh, all the yep. all the necklaces. <laughs> and he just kept shuffling. And he was like, whatever, it. just get get this yep. mummy away from me. And then he finally lands on the right one. Exactly. That's what I would have done. I feel that. That I feel like you would have been the safest one. You would have had the least activity. I I was and I was here. With I it. am unguarded, no weapons. <laughs> There's salt in the backpack. No holy. You didn't do salt. your your homework, your project. You didn't. You know, I might have sage in a drawer somewhere, a little incense or something. I don't know. Could have brought it. Well, <laughs> coming back down to earth here at this facility, reportedly around two thousand people died while recovering in this hospital in its 38-year tenure. That's a lot. There are said to have been around 500 patients lost in the span, a very tight span of six years. Now, I mean, like I said, this building is relatively big when you look at the square footage, but not all of this building is purposed in the, the same way. As you know, like there's the chapel down there, the basement storage, there's some hospice rooms here. So it's really not a huge place for like 2,000 unfortunate souls it's to not. meet their end. And especially in such a tight time window. And I think that that kind of spurs on the energy behind this place. If if nothing else, at least the, the stories behind the place. Yeah? What's I, pull, I actually pulled off my hand. Is it numb? It's a little numb and maybe a little bruise. I've been, oh, gripping, no. I've been gripping this real tight, bro. It is it is <laughs> muggy in here. Gripping I this real tight. We are tight. dripping. You've been in here longer than we have yeah, because we you've been set setting up. up and everything. It's Dude, bad in here. There could be anything looking at us from Stop down that. in the darkness. No, 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 and no, we no. have I no like idea. Don't flash <laughs> the <laughs> Jesus no. Christ. That actually no. that helps no. when I can see. It helps less knowing how deep it goes, Christian. Okay. Yeah, no, I thought it'd be good. I thought <laughs> it it'd be helps. Like, oh, we can see it. It no, helps that was a bad idea. less. That was a bad call. <laughs> All right. That You're going to flash a, a light call. and see a wall there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I regret doing that. I apologize. <laughs> Well, that brings us up to the year that this place was finally fully closed down. Mm -hmm. That was 1992, as another hospital oh, wow. opened up in a nearby town of Cuero, Texas. 92? Uh, that's fairly recent. It's I fairly mean, that's, recent. That's not as, as like, long ago as I thought it'd be. Right. I so, I mean... already born at that time. Right. It's been abandoned basically since then. Either accruing ghosts or accruing stories or something. I mean... I don't think the writing on the wall helps. There's uh, there's some people here who I, I think left their mark. Like Donna A. Perez, born 1965, youngest nurse, worked here in 1983 at this haunted hospital. So some of this is like people that are visiting who had family members, friends, loved ones who worked here. And then some are, are kind of just like a little bit more flavor text, I think. And just someone just goofing off and writing their name. I don't know why you would ever leave your name. Don't, on a, on don't, leave your, don't leave your mark here. You don't leave it. Like, that's like leaving your business card right there. <laughs> Ridiculous. You're not going to get a free lunch. Yeah. You're going to get something worse. It's like, oh, murderers come here frequently at this bar. Let me go ahead and tag my first and last name. Right. Uh, you know. <laughs> and cell phone. Jesus. Maybe. Yes. All right. So let's dive into some of the sightings. But first, you know, I don't even know what you know, the door was sticky. I'll just say that for me. <laughs> So my, I'll throw my story out the window. We don't need to dwell on it. But you, how about you guys? Like, yeah. What did you experience? Uh, we actually had multiple experiences. That's fantastic. He buried that Love one. that. He, he, was, he was leading us on in the car saying, I oh, you know, that. I might have seen I've, something. I've, I've had that. like yeah. one experience. Now this guy's like, I have multiple. And he, it feels better coming back. Waited till we I were on the line. Waited till we were hooked. <laughs> Waited till we couldn't leave contractually. I just said, I hate this Why place. Why did we sign we those papers? To, we didn't have to come here. This is a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but yeah, what'd you see? So to give... Oh, that was a car. Oh, it's yes. A Dude. <laughs> okay. and it was like a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like a door. And this I, is the busiest, I, I, I smallest thought, town. <laughs> Literally half of the town is like is, empty buildings because like it's a small town. That's how yeah. it is. How is there so much traffic there's coming? So much traffic. Are, are, are there ghosts? Maybe maybe in the sighting somewhere there's like um, ghost cars. <laughs> <clears throat> the the first one didn't it so didn't me. happen to me or Nick. We came here with a group of people, right? And we were in the chapel. And one of the things that's been said about the chapel is if anyone with tattoos goes in there, the nuns don't like it. And it's been said that some people will be shoved or, or pushed or scratched in some way. 
and one of the people that we were here with went in the chapel, had tattoos, and said that they felt a shove as they were walking around in the chapel. Saw a cockroach freak me out. <laughs> oh, you did? There's a cockroach going down the corner of that wall right over there. You see it? Yep, yeah, yeah I do. Okay, sorry, Christian. Yeah. So they got see. shoved. They got shoved. Yeah. Actually. They said they full on like took a step forward because something pushed them. They felt like pressure on their body Ugh. while they were in the like chapel. Like out of the like towards the door, like get out of here kind of thing, or just like, uh, uh, just like I don't aggressive, think they specified. Like, just like something like grabbed them and whoa. moved them. I swear to. <laughs> there was a point where we were down a hallway at some point, and I'm bringing up the rear of the 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 group in the hall. Everybody else is in front of me, and. I heard something behind me down the hall, like something either falling or like footsteps or some some type of noise from behind me in the hall, mm -hmm. even though everyone was in front of me. Let me just say, there's there's a there's a variety of bravery within, you know, the group and whatnot. I mean, some of us like me, hell no, but here I am. Others because others are like, you know, what, let's do it. It's going to be fun. Um, I just like that. No one's crazy enough to be like, why don't we just shoot this in the chapel? Another just I'm just glad you didn't give him that idea. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they had it, and trust me, I would have withheld that to the last minute. Oh, I, I will but say, like, me and Nick, we planned the shooting location very specifically with it right, right next to the entrance. We did. This table goes else. over easy. Oh, yes, <laughs> you hear does. a roar. You hear yes, you, see, you hear a it, pitter patter of yes, some naked people feet coming. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> pa, out the door. Little Five Night at Freddy situation. I'm Someone full gone. mooning it in a in a, one of those reverse gowns that just shows the butt cheeks <laughs> oh coming out. God. Like still would be terrifying in this setting. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, I like that that person is crazy, full ass running around. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So you heard some noises. Okay, we got yes. a shove situation in the chapel. Yeah, you so. hear some noises. <laughs> That was, it was all minor stuff. The, sure. the noises, you know, some pranksters That's building minor around. Minor stuff. Building. Then what made me not want to come back inside i left the building did not come in after this uh long story short we'll get more into it in the there is a little girl named stacy who is said to to haunt this location she primarily resides in the basement oh, and it's on. been said that if you bring a ball to like a basketball or just a, a any kind of like toy ball you know yeah it's been said that she will like to play with it roll it around etc cetera, etc cetera. we did that Nick brought a basketball. We went downstairs, went into the room where it said that she resides, <clears throat> put the ball down. We left the room and went exploring further, came back and the ball hadn't moved. It was kind of uneventful. <laughs> left again to continue exploring. While we were exploring, we heard a thud from the room that the ball was in. Come on. I was about to say, if it was, if it was gone or moved, Damn it. <laughs> if do you hear an actual thud? Was we, it like a the ball bouncing yeah, or like right. it was, just like furniture knock or it was like, a Nick, you you if you remember, it was a it was a singular thud. Nick is wringing his hands <laughs> and his his shoulders are in his ears. Dude, like this, this man could not be more tense right now. <laughs> he's like I, the anticipation he is giving me of this story. I'm like, you're it was, not. He's having flashbacks <laughs> right now. It was a singular thud, and okay. me and Nick, we stop. We go, hey, did you, did you hear? What was that? And we stop and we listen. We hear it again. Just one more like solid Jesus. thud from the room. We kept exploring, kept investigating. Then we came back and Nick is in front of me. We come back to the room. Nick looks inside and Nick just started panicking. And I had no idea what was happening. So I walk up and I looked in and the ball was, was gone from its spot. And we started looking around the room and we found it. The ball was like seven feet across the room. Oh, no. I th uh, It's better than like I thought it was going to be up on a shelf or something. That's like. what I was expecting to or just to be gone. Just I mean, completely out of sight. But it was completely across the room. And like, you know, you want to you want to discredit it and say like, oh, the ground was slow. Sure. Breeze something. But it's in the basement. And then we left the first time, came back and checked on it. And it was fine. Right. It was the second time when we left heard noise came back and it was across the room wild that's what makes it so terrifying and you're back here the hell's wrong with you i am paid to be here <laughs> <laughs> so going back to that question twenty thousand dollars for six hours that's you gotta up the price you gotta <laughs> up the price significantly <laughs> so it's so it's about the company it's about other yeah. and i feel that i feel yeah. like being with other people hearing road noise somehow grounds me and makes this a little bit more palatable. It, it also feels is less the lights. Remote. 
And it's also staring at the wall. And it's also like <laughs> not looking into the abyss. There's so many factors that are all about to fall away. Christian, 100K, six hours, uh-huh. you sitting uh-huh. in that basement, completely dark, uh-huh. by yourself with a ball five feet in front of you. 100K, six hours alone? Alone. How about this? Basement the, full with, of balls. With, <laughs> It could be anyone. With a one single ball, like just five one, feet in front of you. right in front of me. You can't see it. It's just dark. You don't have a flashlight. Six hours. 100K. Can, can you imagine sitting there like hour two? You're already terrified. Dude. And then you just hear the ball bounce. Yup. Can you imagine that? As someone, <laughs> yep. as someone who has, listen, in broad daylight, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm a skeptic. I'm like, I'm ready to debunk. I've got my engineering hat on, mm-hmm. you know, like science, baby. In the throes of the night, that all falls away. And as someone kind of referring to Haunter again, when I was I was tied down to a bed in like a centuries old priory, mm-hmm. like on the other side of the world, <laughs> everyone left the building. Oh, hell. you start hearing stuff fast. I'll tell you though, on the upside, the time goes very quick. I was in there for like an hour and a half. Uh-huh. But man, it that's a terrible experience oh, <laughs> to know that that ball's there. Imagine just hearing a little t- t- right. t- of the ball bouncing or something. like, I'm going to throw it. Would up. it be better or worse if you hear it bouncing and then hear it hit like the wall or the door? Or if you could see it roll into you, like in the, out of the darkness and oh, like, it's oh it into you, God. which would be worse? Probably like, towards you because then you, uh, it's like my brain would immediately imagine someone stood right there oh, and that, that oh pushed it towards God. me. Oh my that's, God. That's my problem. Oh. My brain, like I've seen too many movies. My brain yeah. fills in the gaps and says, yeah, but what about that? I go, no, no why'd you do that? <laughs> How about you? So, or, mm, what, would I do it? No, if the, well, I don't, I know that answer, but if, <laughs> but if you were doing it and the ball rolled towards you or rolling away from you, which one would you feel was, was worse? Probably rolling towards me i would say because then i feel like the ball and the entity would be closing in as opposed to going further away yeah it would feel intentional because it's coming at the only like i feel like that's an indicator of like i'm coming towards like they want like they want you involved but i mean i remember that scene because you know we are a movie podcast i remember that scene in the conjuring right right I, I do want to say rooster teeth number, <laughs> number one, one movie podcast, podcast about true crime but yeah, <laughs> about true crime. <laughs> but that scene the conjuring where the kid had the little gun the toy gun with mm-hmm. the red ball and it had the string attached to it and he shot down the dark doorway reeled it back in shot down the dark doorway reeled it back in and then shot it down it got stuck and then it started lifting up with the string on the ball. That's Annabelle, wasn't it? Annabelle. That was Annabelle. <laughs> Jesus. Was Christ, dude. You can't be. The phone. Cockroach. Now you're knocking something down. Christian. Disrespecting the <laughs> place. Bro. What? Why? Bro, you need to stop. I, I, Don't tell the ghost to why shush. Why is Nick saying shush? <laughs> what? Huh? I just hear Nick saying shush. You just, just, just. Please don't. Oh, flashlight. Yeah, I, I kicked a flashlight. Oh, yeah, he kicked the flashlight yeah, on accident. Um, yeah, I, I would just. I mean, I the, yeah, obviously you're talking if it's rolling towards you or rolling away from you. Worst case, you just see a little bit of it rise up, or or it coming back. Just it doing anything it unpredictable. Doing anything. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. movie was good at unsettling. I mean, I love the Conjuring series. But yeah, it's a good series. Woof. All right, let's talk um, about. Yeah. Some, sorry, yeah, let's let's talk about some of the other sightings um, that have happened in this place. Obviously, this this location does a lot of tours. If you find yourself in the area, <laughs> hit them up. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of experiences that people have had, and so you know, more or less, I'm going to try to outline the the broad strokes kind of key things that tend to happen. You know, of all the different varying experiences you can happen, like. Uh, that you could have happen, like the pushing in the chapel is just one of those common ones. And they usually get attributed to specific entities, which we will outline kind of as we go through this place. Some basic ones, you know, people have seen orbs of light. We're going to be taking some photographs to see if anything comes up. The guy that gave us the tour before this started said, take a lot of photographs. You might not see anything with your naked eye. You might not see anything in the video, but by taking photos, you'll you'll even be surprised by what you might see on the aft end. So, Speaking of photographs, that reminds me. Have you guys heard the story about the crew of Haunter and what they had happened to them? Here? Yeah. No. 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 So there, uh, there was a 
when we shot the episode of Haunter here, none of us were were there, obviously. Um, one of the people on the crew is an outright skeptic that straight up do not believe ghosts are sure. ridiculous or believes an idiot. So the entire time they were taunting the ghosts, just like uh, talking mad smack, invoking all sorts of names, name calling, et cetera, et cetera. It's being a nuisance. And they were taking pictures and selfies the entire time of the of themselves and the other crew. They went back later, and this has been told to me by multiple people, corroborated, like, un, without them talking to each other. Uh, they went back later and looked at the photos, and every single photo, everybody looks fine, except for the guy who was talking smack. His face was blurred. No joke. That's real. I His forgot about that. I forgot that about that. Honest, that is a true damn it story. It is, yeah. and they're not edited. I remember that. Have you seen the photos? It, I've not seen it, the photos. Was it Max? It was Max. It was Max yeah. Crumkey, uh, oh, if you remember. Yeah, yeah. No, man. Mm-hmm. Holy crap, I remember that because he had these photos and they're like, I'm like, oh, you know, Max is a, is a joke. She's a very funny dude. And so I figured maybe he was joking, but no, like the photos on the cell phone are yeah. like, it's like someone smudged it. Like it was wet paint. And I was like, whoa, that's wild. See, what if I forgot about that? Yeah. Oh, you reminded me now. <laughs> <laughs> like I was reminded earlier today, so I had to share, you know, what if it's like an unbreakable situation? Where it's stop. I just <laughs> where you know in the movie they talk about how like comic books. What if it was just like uh, Jazz's eyes version, uh, you know, jazzed up and and Hollywood chewed up version of like little truths that were told and that were like you know back then. Like what if that's you know with horror movies, right? Where like these things are experience. Pe- things that people have actually experienced that have been told and passed around. And then obviously someone wrote a script and, and jazz sized it up, energized it and then made a movie out of it or a short story or a book, et cetera. But like, you know, these are small little truths of experience. I just want to take a quick flash photo of whatever was going on down that hallway. Just, you know, just in case anything cropped up, I didn't see anything. Uh, <laughs> so sorry to cut you off. No, 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 no. I looked back mid-story and I and I thought I saw just like, I don't know, a glint of something. So I was, um, that's weird. I don't know where to go from that. So sorry for the rough segue, but basically a lot of people have seen orbs, orbs yeah. of light, very common, yeah, shadowy figures, orbs. and even blood on the walls of the basement where a double homicide occurred. And that's, and that's that's the line that I read that made me sigh. That was, I went, oh. Because apparently that's still there. The guy who uh, introduced us to the place, unlocked the place for us, was uh, very excited about these uh, blood stains that still exist. So very morbid story, but we'll get there. Others hear disembodied screams, uh, talking, footsteps, you know, your, your typical stuff. But it's considered highly active by paranormal investigators. And, uh, you know, even the caretaker of the building, who is Mike Hansen, uh, has reported many sightings himself. Hansen lives on the property and he claims that everything is fine until the lights turn out, which wait, wait can, is that one of you guys? Oh, f- oh, thank God. Oh, it's what? Oh my God. <laughs> wait, what was it? It was Dawn. The door. The door oh, the was door. making noise. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you guys got it. Oh, good. Oh, good. He's struggling with the door. Just, just push real hard. Should please fill over. God, open the door. <laughs> See? I was like, this door is like impossible. And then Christian was like, it just opened up yeah, really easy for us. Yeah. And so I thought, Great. <laughs> now maybe. Dude, we're so we're just sitting here talking and uh yeah, the door just makes a little like jiggle and I was mm-hmm. like, please for the love of God, we're gonna stop what we're doing right now and make sure that door <laughs> opens. I I was just convinced, like my mind it was like, ah, oh, it's Nick's foot or something like just scraped, but real talk. Uh-huh. Are we all exploring this area together? I think at least the three of us and Shane are for sure going. Okay. The guy was very excited that we had like four people. Yeah. He was like, that's when you really get stuff riled up. And I went, that's (laughs) great. And that's just freaking peachy. Um, Okay. Yeah. We're we're exploring this together the whole time. Together. That's my plan. Okay. There's no plan. There's no, there's no, I'll, I'll be completely real with you. There's no prank plan as far as I'm aware. No. To like no. ditch anyone or no, or no hide one, no or one's whatever. Left behind. Yeah. Well, yeah. None of that. But even like, oh hey, Rano sit in the basement for five minutes. No. Or see if they want to. Yeah, you did that <laughs> at the Stanley Hotel. I did. 
And then but Jack banged on the wall. There is also, it was also like. You sat in the room where the door opened and closed itself. It did. It moved on its own after the story of the door moving on its own happened. That's, that's a door. In my mind, I'm like a ball rolling. And no, no, the bounce of the ball. Like Thug. there's, there's no, ex- okay. there's no explaining that. Okay. Like, I don't know. I don't know. The pictures. I need Mm. I want to see the pictures. I have not seen I, them. I, I need to see the I pictures. I know of just, them. Of the blurry? Yeah. The blurry face? Yeah. yeah. But, um, okay, cool, cool, cool. I just, I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, uh, more so, I needed to know. <laughs> yeah, no, 100% honesty. We're all sticking together. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're, we're not splitting up. Mm-hmm. We're not sticking people alone in their rooms. But th- that is, we're not messing with you or lying to you in that regard. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Um, so yeah, so the caretaker is basically saying that everything's fine and dandy until the lights go out, at which point he himself has admitted to seeing figures that weren't there, people that weren't supposed to be there, moving around, walking around as if they were working here. He thought maybe there were other visitors touring the building. Um, so they must be very vivid, uh, Illusions or uh, yeah, scenes. It's one thing know. to be like, "Oh, I saw a shadowy figure," but mm-hmm. to actually be like, "I'm seeing this shadowy figure move" is a whole nother level. Right. And it just made it worse when he explained that he had seen glowing red eyes at one point as well. Come on, man. This place is. It's okay. Just a little bit of behind the scenes action. This place has got everything, and I don't. It does. This is. This is hard mode. And I really <laughs> hate that we just jumped all the way to it seems like one of the tippy tops of the mountain. Right. For haunted places. Well, we joked about it last week, but maybe this is just one of our first step on our show where we dehauntify places and we cleanse them with our will. <laughs> I, I don't know. With our will. With the power. Well, we didn't bring any sand. With the power any, of any will, crosses. I cleanse This man's you. got salt. He's going to seize in the hallway. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> I just want to oh. put this out there. Task force. Mm-hmm. Listeners. If this does well, <laughs> y'all are y'all are messed up <laughs> this does well that's on you y'all nasty y'all need to get some help that's the prank be, 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 if, this be, well. if this does well and they're like dude, look this did well we should do more <sighs> y'all are stop it yeah well we'll see what happens uh yeah. i have no idea why but this reminded me of another thing we experienced go Jeez, for it get in there laundry list bro and it happened in that hall i don't right like here. that it's pointable <laughs> In where? There's, there's a down the hall. There's a point where the hall splits off, and it's like a, a four way intersection. Is there, no. a chair, is there a chair in front of that door? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. There's a point where that hallway turns into a four way intersection. Oh my God, if there's a figure sitting on that chair. Okay. Oh yes. God. Um, when, also terrifying that there's a four way intersection. It looks like just a straight hall. No, it branches off into two separate halls. Yeah. So uh, left, there's another stairwell that goes up and down, what? and then right, I think is. The, the emergency uh, room? There's the adult Surgery? ward to the right, left is the children's ward. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, we'll get in there. We'll figure asshole. it out. Yeah. We'll become <laughs> masters of this place. We were exploring, and one of the things that we had brought was just like a, a nice Coleman camping lantern. And we left it in the intersection of the hall just for lighting. And it's a, a lamp where you have to switch it on and off. It has a full on, like, turn 90 degrees or whatever to the on off position. Sitting there, it's on. We're here for like 20 minutes. We're exploring. And then we come to the other ward and we notice that somebody's battery died. So we turn around to go change it and the lantern was off. And so we thought it was, you know, a bulb had burnt out or whatever. And we approached the lantern and saw that no, it had been fully switched off. Mm. Like so, the, the dial had been turned and so, nobody had touched it. So, to this day, nobody claims to have touched so, it. So since I know y'all are sickos, I saw that there's a ball in the uh, van that we drove here. Is I'm guessing there's other things as well. The ball is for the little girl. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Is there are there other, other, is like there, are there ghost other... paraphernalia? Oh, yeah. Yes. I hear antagonizing ghosts. <laughs> what is Just that? here to monitor, observe, and leave fast. <laughs> uh, well, I guess what's the fact that these experiences are tangible, a thud, 
lights, the ball moving, the light turning off, and that it's you guys just like, ugh. It's one thing to hear a story. It's another to like know someone who you trust and yeah. like believe and like can see it on their faces, like their experience. We have also uh, Stephanie Mayfield is another person who works here who does uh, some of the tours. And when she was on the news, she was on News 4 San Antonio. She actually said this about the place, quote, I don't think they're mad. I think they're upset. They're sad. So I don't know if that helps or hurts or if it's just kind of a sideways kind of thing, but at least they're not feeling vengeful, at least from people yeah. who are experienced with this place. It, it's more of a remorse. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know. It, it makes me feel a little better that they're not going to lash out. Yeah. Not gonna, unless you antagonize. Yeah, not going to get dragged down the hallway into the shadows. Don't need that vivid image in my head. <laughs> Are there beds in these rooms? I believe so. I believe I'm feeling upstairs. Tired, a little sleepy or I'm just feeling, take a little kip. I just feel like that's unfortunate that I need to make sure to look under beds. Ooh. Yeah. So we're going to talk about a couple shows that have been here because, as I mentioned, a lot of paranormal yeah. investigators have come out this way. Uh, according to Haunted Places to Go, there's some glass upstairs on the second floor. I think it might be part of a door, like a little window to, to the stairwell or what have you. But apparently, according to them, almost every night you'll hear tapping on that. So I feel like that's a place we got to hit up. Listen for some of that sure. tapping every now and then. You get a little tip tippity tap in the uh, background the haunted hospital world tour is happening <laughs> <laughs> the central texas ghost hunters apparently captured a recording of the organ down there playing by itself that'll be interesting to, if that happens i feel like we're all out of here you know I, there's a laundry list of things that I'll, I'll be honest with the audience like this it's not it's not played up like <laughs> like I, I am trying to hold it together right now along with everyone else to to the various levels um, of you know everyone's unique bravery but this for real could very much be a we're gonna shoot the rest of this outside type <laughs> episode like honestly it could be like if something like that happens none of us are like let's just keep going you right. know what I mean no. like no no way, no like, way. It's just we film it outside. Mm -hmm. We had there was an experience. All right, we're out. If this was a three second episode and all it consisted of was, hey everyone, Durr. oh my god, <laughs> and that was it. And that, and that would be and, what we had, and, and that's it. And at no point I'll be. I want to make sure that this is like this is said in the episode because we've talked about this off uh, off air. But like at no point do I want anybody to feel behind or in front of the cameras or. In front of or behind the... Yeah. Uh, I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. I don't want anyone to feel like they have to push past a place where they feel like they're in an uncomfortable situation. Uh, and yeah, if you feel like you want to leave, solo we're going to leave. <laughs> yeah, there's no solo stuff. We're not going to... This is this is purely... Uh, you know, we want to tell the story of this place. We all, we want to authentically explore it and, and some of the gadgets that we have. But yeah, if it becomes a point at which, uh, you know, where we get too far in or like... We just feel uncomfortable. It doesn't feel right. We're out. Easy as that. I don't know if any more of these like sightings are going to help, but I also feel like I would rather be candid with you than withhold yeah. this wild information. Um, you know, other people like uh, we've talked about in the chapel have been pushed and whatnot. Some people have experienced being grabbed uh, or feeling a choking sensation. And the last show I want to reference is actually Ghost Adventures. I refer to Zach Bagans all the time. Uh, watched pretty much all of those episodes and they, they featured this very hospital in 2011 and they said they found evidence of high levels of paranormal activity in the building. Uh, and just for those who might not be aware, the Ghost Adventures crew is, uh, is they use like a lot of gadgets to explore. Um, they have a, a crew of three on camera at least. They use EMF detectors to scope out the hospital and, uh, and, it, and it turns out that when they went to the basement, the EMF detector, that's where they really captured a lot I of just, the activity. I hate it. There's a basement. Yeah. It's weird. Also, basements aren't super common in Texas. Not at all. Why? I never thought that I'd have to experience a uh, haunted basement in Texas. Yeah. But uh, I do also want to clarify EMF detectors are a very common uh, paranormal kind of device, measuring device. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're called or they're EMF detectors, which stand for electromagnetic field. Uh, so. Oh, trees. Yeah. I heard a similar thing. 
Uh, so yeah, they're trying to pick up the the idea of like you know some people believe that ghosts like uh, mess with frequencies and and electronics and whatnot, and so this is just one of those gadgets that attempts mm-hmm. to measure that. Uh, and apparently theirs was going haywire when they get, went to the basement. Some people have said they heard they've seen the nuns, um, especially those who have tattoos are the ones who tend to see the nuns who are not keen on that kind of uh, kind of thing. One of the, the the scariest scenes in horror movies for me is that the nun, uh, no, is the Conjuring, the the one with the nun, the painting of the nun. Oh yeah. And so, I just I I envision that. <laughs> Wasn't it, yeah? It was just called the nun, right? When they made the spin off. Yeah, when for... they made the spin off. But yeah, it was she was introduced in the Conjuring. Yep. Well, to wrap up some of the sightings, the Ghost Adventures crew apparently caught some. I don't know. Uh, they're they're always hard to tell, but they they got some audio recordings, and they were able to decipher through. They're usually very scratchy and hard to tell. So if you if you go in listening for certain words, you might hear them. But I do want to say for clarity, like what those phrases were. Phrases like "You want to play?" Uh, it must be told. I'll tell them you did it. Suffer and hurry. Hide like hurry. Pause. Hide. Just a couple of statements that they have uh, captured, which do kind of fall in line with some of the ghosts that are yeah. said to walk this place. I also like the way you ordered that list. It got progressively worse. <laughs> right. And that's why I'm like, I was, you know, I was tiptoeing. I'm, I'm, I'm do you want to play? I'm like, like, that's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Run and hide at the end. I'm like, all right. Right. Um, but yeah, that is kind of the the quick history of this place some of the uh, common sightings and experiences that surround this place. And uh, without too much further ado, maybe we'll give ourselves a nice little breather, stop down, bask in the light. Nope. I don't need to stay in this place a second And then longer. we're going to... Okay. Let's we can just, dive right in. Let's get going. All right. Well, for the sake of the audio podcast, the audio is going to sound a little different. Might not sound as high fidelity, obviously, because we're going to be on the move. And it's just... Just one of those episodes. Hey, it's just a adds, special episode. Adds to the atmosphere. Adds to the atmosphere. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to sound distant, echoey, reverby, all that sort of goodness. Um, but we'll do our best if you watch the video to subtitle anything that gets lost in the in the clarity. But uh, otherwise, boys, everyone behind the cameras, you guys ready to... Uh, I know Nick is bouncing. <laughs> Start exploring. I, I, you know what I mean? Being people who create content, it was very annoying hearing the cars passing by, but very quickly it became something that was soothing <laughs> to me. Um, and then just knowing we're going to be walking down that hallway further away from that. And then also, uh, you know, it's 10 o'clock now, but as it gets later, less and less cars will pass. Mm-hmm. That little that little bit of comfort that I'm holding on to right now <laughs> is like it's going to be slowly pulled away from me. I like that you have your Apple Watch on because we can check your heart monitor periodically. <laughs> Do you want to see what it's at right now? Uh, I don't. I mean, just like I don't know if I have the app. Oh, really? Does everyone have? Does everyone have the app? My watch says that my heart rate is 109 beats. Really? Oh yeah. man! You don't have to do the finger pinch uh, if you. I don't know. Oh, depends looked. on what model you have. There's a, a green light that'll punch through your skin there and. Twenty. Oh no, it's counting. Oh, it's counting down. It's like 26. Oh, okay. I'm like, am I you're dead? 20, 19, 18. Oh my God. Doc, <laughs> what's 15, going on? 15 seconds, 13 seconds. All right. Dude, there's like a little bell behind me. Is that, is that, oh my God. You're is right. there really? Yeah, yeah there's, there's like a little, a little one of those like, oh. pling, ling, ling. If that thing jingles. Yeah, the thing is, I hate that you pointed that one out. It's. You have to cross its plane to get out the door. So if you are down there and you hear a little tingling, yeah. you got to get nearer to get away or Well, I'll check this periodically, but right now I say I couldn't get a proper reading. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't I don't blame it. It's it's probably <laughs> fluctuating all over the place. All right. Let's uh let's switch to switch to boom. I didn't like the echo of that. I did not that like a, that echo. I felt the same thing as like Dude, that boom. was a like a booming thud. 
Hey everybody, Trevor here, and I hope you are enjoying this special episode for Halloween that we are doing. This is the live in-person ghost hunt episode, and as we transition to the ghost hunt portion of this episode, if you aren't already watching the video version of this, you can go to youtube.com slash redwebpod where you can watch that and check it out, or hit us up on the Rooster Teeth apps and website. Uh, we have the living room apps on the consoles and everything, but there's also the dot com if you prefer. Uh, but yeah, we are about to go ghost hunting, which will have some very visual moments that I want to make sure that if you're listening, you'll still enjoy the kind of ASMR experience of a ghost hunt. But uh, we want to make sure that if you see something, you say something. There could be ghosts that we missed. There could be evidence that we missed. And if if you happen to see something in the episode that we didn't talk about or we didn't see ourselves, let us know. You can always uh, tweet us at RedWebPod or email us, redweb at roosterteeth.com, where you can let us know if you saw something, but you can also let us know about uh, any mysteries you stumble upon in real life that you want us to check out, whether they be online or in person or what have you. But with that said, I want to talk about what makes this show possible and what allows us to do this in person, this special episode of Red Web. And that is a couple of things. First and foremost, our first members. You can listen to this show early, 24 hours to be precise, by becoming a first member, signing up for only a few dollars a month. You can uh, support our show and everything else we do directly, as well as getting exclusive content, ad-free content, all that good stuff. You can become a first member by going to roosterteeth.com or downloading the app. We also have some fantastic sponsors that I want to talk about that also help make episodes like this possible. So let's talk about some of those right now. This episode of Red Web is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? That's where therapy can really make a difference. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. It's not a crisis line or self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp offers a broad range of expertise that might not be available locally for you, and their service is available worldwide. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and live chat sessions with your therapist. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Why invest in everything else and not your mind as well? This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Red Web listeners. That's you, Task Force. You get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash redweb. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash redweb. This episode of Red Web is also sponsored by Raycon Wireless Earbuds. Raycon Wireless Earbuds are the best way to listen to the content that helps you. They come with a bunch of different size gel tips for your comfort, and they don't stick out of your ears. There's even an awareness mode for when you need to be able to listen to your surroundings. Thanks to Raycon, I was able to get my hands on a pair of their wireless earbuds, and they're awesome. I uh, put the extra big gel tips on them because I have these huge, monstrous ear holes, and uh, I'm able to run around, ride my bike, whatever, and they don't fall out. What I like the most is that they don't stick out, so I don't look like a goofball, like an alien android or something like that, but they sound amazing, and uh, I'm able to listen to my music while I'm getting a little bit of that vitamin D, you know what I'm saying? While I'm walking about and looking cool while I'm doing it. Raycon's new everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever before. They've got an improved rubber oil look and feel about them, and they have an optimized gel tip that provides the perfect in-ear fit, no matter how big your ears are, myself included. And now they have three new sound profiles that you can use depending on what you're listening to. So it sounds optimal regardless of whether you're listening to a podcast like this one or blasting music like I do. Uh, right now, Red Web listeners, that's you, Task Force, you can get 15% off your Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash Red Web. Again, that's buyraycon.com slash Red Web Task Force. Get yourself 15% off some of those Raycon wireless earbuds. Buyraycon.com slash Red Web. And with that said, we're heading right into the throes of the ghost hunt. So again, one last chance. If you want to watch this uh, in all of its visual glory, go to roosterteeth.com or head over to youtube.com slash Red Web Pod and dive into it. All right, so a uh, little smash cut here. We're now back in the building. We went outside, grabbed a couple of accoutrements, including an EMF detector, a motion sensor, and... Uh, and this ball that I'm very uncomfortably holding right now. Um, yeah, I suggested that we go back out and grab all these things. And I'll be honest, that is my last excuse to stall this production. <laughs> 
And that's, just keep vamping, keep so, filling the air, and we don't have to go anywhere. I'm so, like, no joke. I'm. Do you want to take that to the basement while we explore no, everywhere no, no, else? No, 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 no. Is that what you're saying? What I'm trying to say is, I can't believe I'm saying this. Do we put this downstairs, leave it in the basement, and then come upstairs and explore everything? That's what I said. No, I thought you were going to leave to your, I thought no, you were saying, no, we go downstairs. No, no, no. Someone will go down to the basement and leave that ball there. And so then we explore the rest of the building. Someone, the group. Like, oh, oh, good. Okay. I thought we, we were all trying to throw someone under the bus and I just kept veering the blame. I just. Okay. So ever. you're holding it. I'm not ever leaving. I'm coming with you. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll, well, I'm not ever leaving the way. All right. I'll just, I'll just be clear about that. I'll come back for, for this stuff. All right. Oh, dude, basic first. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, this is a horror movie. This is a horror movie. So how, okay, Christian, how deep into this basement do we have to go? Um, I mean, it seems like so it was, it's, it's just turn right, right here. Oh my God, this break in the hall, you turn left, go down a bit, and then there's a room to your right. Oh God. Jeez. All right. Are you marching in? No, yeah. I'm just not. I don't want to be the last one. I don't want to be the first one. All right, middle one. Keep the light behind you. Dude, what the what fuck are you doing? There? I guess when it's abandoned, they mean abandoned. That that room just fell apart. Dude, this is legit like the set of a horror movie. Are you kidding me? Oh, what? Look how far down that goes. <laughs> Should we kill lights just to see what it looks like? <laughs> Striking. This could not look any worse than this. There's just like what? Jesus Christ. It's fenced off, it's safe. This could not look any worse. This is the pinnacle of what do you think a, uh, an abandoned hospital looks like with a- What is that? Look at that bed in there. What are those rollers? It's like a torture chamber. So we're gonna turn right up here. Oh you no, know, it's like a maze. Look at this wall. It's bulging up. Oh, okay, it's right. Oh. Coming apart and then left into this room. All right, let's go ahead and ditch the ball. There's a cage in here. Yeah. What? There's a nook over here. Do we put it right here? Oh, right here, right here. Was it right here? We left the ball like right. Like right over here. This place makes my heart hurt. It does. We had the ball was like right here. And then the ball was over against that wall. So it was right here? Like right where it came up. Alright, I like that. That's a good spot. Alright. I think we all agree now. Take a look, make sure it doesn't move. It seems stable. It's not moving. Alright, we'll be back. St uh, Fredo, bear with me for a second. Stacy, you're down here. Uh, we've got a ball for you to play with. I'll turn the page in your book, so, uh, you know, that way you can stop rereading the same page or two. Dumbledore dies. Um, feel free to play with this ball, huh? We're going to explore the rest of your friends. All right, and we're talking to it. Let's see what, what they've got her reading. Oh, the Cancers. I hope this is a Zodiac book. New chapter, get excited. Uh, the mighty force. Oh my god. How high explosives are changing the face of the earth. Let's leave. Okay, so we're gonna come back and then maybe explore this a little bit. Last looks on that thing. Okay. Dude, everything, everything is just like uniquely terrifying. All right, so game plan, now that the ball is in place, I think we hit up the chapel, it seemed like a hot spot. Yep. 
Why is there a breeze coming out of here? From Do you feel that? Yeah. There's no way. And now it's gone. <gasps> well, that was me, but I'm moving away from this door now. There, there was like a strong breeze. It was a, yeah. And then it felt like just a minor breeze. To me. Do you remember how to get out, Fredo? Okay, cool. This way. Yeah. There are stairs, I believe, right oh, here. Right to the chapel, huh? I believe so. Oh my god, dude. That was just the liquor cabinet? I guess. It looks like so, there's some champagne was in there. Oh, the, the blood of whoa, whoa. I my I had too many inputs at the same time with all the moving. I'm just gonna not. Oh my god, why is there so many places to <sighs> oh, I can make sense I can make sense of stairs. I can make sense of stairs. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, there's like a back room to the chapel. Oh my god. It looks like there's a second floor. Murder. Murder. Jump scared you. All right, I've seen Phasmophobia, Fredo. We've played a few times ourselves. EMF reader. EMF reader. Maybe that was just a boot up kind of thing. Come on, man. Like, for what reason at all oh. would you ever? I mean, we're doing it for right web, the task force, content. We do it so you don't have to, you know? Oh, you want to cleanse this place. You want to confess? Is that a, that's just a coffin, isn't it? Oh my God. Oh, oh, mother. I will kill you, <laughs> Christian, I swear to God. Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so where we are now, you know, I talked a little bit about the nuns, Fredo. This is obviously their location. Um, depending on how this goes, they live, their residence were upstairs, so we can explore that after. I am not touching this, no matter who has ever been in it or not. Nope, you don't need to touch it at all. You do not. Oh my God, of course there's an upstairs. Oh of course no. there's an upstairs. Okay, well look for peeping, peeping eyes. All right. Oh my God, dude, everything, everything about this place. I'm gonna go towards the back. He's got a little shelf in there where he keeps his uh, whiskey. Not really. It's a nice breeze. It is actually a nice breeze. Uh, I guess this is like a kitchen. Oh, what was that? Did you hear like a little like light moan? Mm -mm. I can't believe Shane's in here. What is is that? Baby hands? Or Baby a, hands! Like a little raccoon? Like what? Is, That's a monster raccoon. Baby hands. That's baby hands. No, but seriously, did you did you not hear that little like? No. It's like a feminine whimper, like a little. Eh. No. no joke. Like that's what made me jump. It, didn't. Listen, I'll just say it. I support tattoos. Oh my god. Dude. I know I know many people with oh fresh tattoos. God. I don't mean to antagonize. We all have different beliefs. I think it's time that ghosts catch up to the modern times. You are living in a, the current era. Nope. So sometimes I'm gonna check out that. Okay, cool. You, I'm gonna come on, cut you off before you get yourself into some trouble. Cockroach. Oh, okay, Don't say cockroach while I'm making a noise down here. It makes me feel like it's gone up my leg. Ooh, lots of cockroaches. Baby. Little baby ones. Ones that are dead. Baby hands. Baby hands has been here. I know you've been here, baby hands. Oh, Maybe these gosh. nuns have very small hands. This room seems pretty, uh... Pretty though. quiet, though I am picking up a bit of a headache. Okay. Well, if I look straight up, it fixes it a little. No, no, it so makes it worse. Of the non-activity would happen, I'm assuming. Right, and up here on the second level. What do you? What happened, Christian? Do you see something? No, I heard something. What'd you hear? It's like a loud footstep. 
Really? Yeah. What? Can you point to where you heard it? Just in here? Back here. My instincts are telling me no, but well, my body. My curiosity is telling me yes. Okay, well, I'm gonna test the floor out. Ooh, so, ugh, doesn't feel good in the air. All right, like that? Yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah. I don't wanna. I, like, for some reason, I just can't walk over there, so I'm not gonna. I didn't hear that. Whoa, God, don't take the light off of me. Oh. This man looked away and I was in a cave. Yeah, Look at this, this is baby light, you know? No. So anyway, you, you talked about, you know, the balcony and everything. Yes, the nuns, there's some activity in here, but especially up on this balcony. Really? There's a lot of stories of feeling like one is being choked, feeling like... Uh, people have been pushed, grabbed, on the balcony. Uh, up on the balcony here, in particular, which uh, means if we end up in that area, I do not want to be close to the edge. Yep. So I feel what we can do now is we've explored kind of their place of work. I think we should stay on the nun train, Okay. work our way up to where they, still nothing on the EMF, work their way up to the residences. All right. I'm going to go back down that hallway, grab the motion detector, and I think I'm just gonna leave it in this hallway. Yeah. And it will make a pretty startling alarm if it sees anything move. Okay. Um, I, but, I guess I didn't like the sound of that, but. But yeah. then we'll work our way down, check out this floor, wrap up in the basement. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not talking much. It's just <laughs> a lot of, it's a lot of tension in my body right now. Jesus, there's some long hallways. Whoa, look left and right. Like, yeah. This is, okay, this really helps show the scale of this place. Oh my God. Look at that. My God. It's about equal in the other direction as well. It's kind of a good thing we went to the basement first because that was infinitely more terrifying. Right, we kind of ripped that band-aid off. Than everything else. Right. When I look at everything, I go, that's scary. But boy, oh boy, is the, the real challenge downstairs. Right. We could also be building ourselves up for either great disappointment or terrible scare. Dude, if we walk that, there and the ball, ball is moves, gone, um, I'm gone. I would like us to really... We should figure out that plan now. Scurry? Scurry? I, I would say scurry? to quickly scurry away. Absolutely. We don't think we need to bolt and then get lost. Right. We, we know the path. You think you do and then you're panicking and then... That's true. Is this like a prescription? Probably, I would say so. You'll go insane. There's a little writing there. Great. Well, hey, at least Jonathan and Melanie commemorated their love right above a, just a wholesome message. <sighs> I don't like, okay, I feel like we walked farther than this, but. But well, here we are. Deal that, wait a minute, doesn't this feel so much shorter? Like, I feel like we've been walking for a while and the door is now suddenly right there. Yeah, it looks longer than it is. Okay, maybe, I don't know. This, this building, that's not part of it. This ain't this, the shining and this building doesn't move itself. But I mean, that was, I don't know, disorienting I mean, to say the dark. least. It's deceptive. I'm trying to make sense of every single noise uh, that is uh, I'm gonna just on. being put out there by us, thank God. I was, gonna, I was just speaking, I was saying I was gonna turn off the EMF, but I heard like a little squeaky like noise. The ball is so light that we wouldn't hear it bounce. You wouldn't hear it bounce, no. Um, it's so quiet, you might but, hear something. Uh, <sighs> here's, here's the skeptic in me trying to make up the reasons sure, why. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a... What was that? Did you hear that? I literally heard like a, like a... No. Like, not that direction, but the the stairs? stairs direction, yeah. The, the skeptic in me is is really like that ball is so light and we felt those gusts of wind in the hallway mm. in the doorways that like right they could you very easily move that ball in well, my mind already it's good to think of the reasons yeah so when we get there we can test think about how it might be yeah. debunked so it's good kind, idea. Of, kind of makes me wish you brought something heavier yeah but you know um in my mind already i'm like it's a super light ball Mm -hmm. We'll check that room for windows and stuff if it ends up being moved. 
And you want to keep an eye on this while I kind of step forward? I have to say, I love the exposed brick look you've got accidentally going on. All right, so this is the window you can see from outside. This was the one I was like, looking for that quintessential moment where something's looking back out the window. Oh, that's not comfortable to look at. Oh, God. Is this one of the bedrooms, I assume, Christian? Yes. So this is uh, clearly one of the apartments. We have a sink, seating area, medicine cabinet, towel rack. This, so this was like the whole shebang minus the toilet and shower, which I'm sure was shared. Pretty spacious closet given everything else. It's gotta be that tree on the window. It's gotta be, it's right? gotta be yeah, it doesn't. Like, We're still close to it. Sounded very for car. Yeah, very much. Like very much car. closest to the to the street. And these windows, I don't even want to touch it. Do you want to speak yeah, to anyone in here? Nope. Fair. <laughs> very fair. I I am here to. Just, I'm just trying to hold it together. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, surprisingly, very grateful for the basement because mm -hmm. it's making the rest of this experience easier mm -hmm. um but once we get to the basement that it's just a, it's it's a hell it's a hell of a sight it's definitely noises yeah like, that was like a little like knock noise but i think the good thing about the basement was that it's clearly the worst spot to be but we were in it because we knew it would be transitory. We knew we'd get, get in and get out. Get in and get out. But when we go in there now, it's definitely gonna be, I can't believe this Braveheart. Look at him go. Braveheart. Genuinely proud. I'm Braveheart. All right, so. Uh, so what, what, what went down up here and. What the fuck? Oh, okay, no, it's just a branch. Dude. That was so like, a definite scratch, but it's gotta be a branch. It, it was. But it was like something dragged. It was, like a, it was definitely like a branch dragging on the window, but it felt like a long drag. Right. That's why I was like, oh, branch, but so, it kept going. I, you know what happened? I heard that and I froze and I didn't turn to look at it because I didn't want it to be real. So I thought if I didn't acknowledge it, it's not real. I'm sorry, that's fight or flight. And that is not what happened. You, 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 if that was real. Um, so this, these are the rooms where they, like, the living areas? Yeah, so these were like the living room. This in particular might not have been a bedroom for the nuns. Or it might have actually been. This is where the sink would have like been. This is medicine scene. cabinet. This is their briefcase full of their goods. Um, it looked like somebody came in and had a bonfire in here or something. Didn't the guy, was the guy joking when he said, but he said something about sacrificial, he Rituals said, like I think he was saying that people would break in and try to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that doesn't make anything any better. Why? So maybe that's what this is. Yep. I mean, this looks like someone brought stuff here to burn. I mean, it's like a pile of dirt. But... Right. Maybe they just swept it into a, the center, but missed most of it. Hopefully. <laughs> Very modest accommodations. I can see why you might be angry. I do love the uh, the up to date. You know, oh yeah. Old school like temp thermometer. Yeah, yeah, this this goes to this box Whoa, here. Phone. Man, some short nuns, baby hands. Yeah, why is it so? This uh, is baby hands room. This is baby hands room. Yeah, the phone he can reach it. God, I'm so. I like the hand sanitizer stations they've placed. Or right, I'm assuming that's what that is. What do you see? What the. Fuck? Nope. What the. Fuck? You, did you see something? No, 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 no. I no. definitely heard something. I heard something. All right, okay, so at the end of the hallway, there's there's a door with a small little, like, glass window. Mm hmm And I saw, like, a light that was, it's like your light, but I don't, you weren't flashing it down the hallway. Mm -mm. But it just seemed like a light was reflecting off of it. In was your color. In your color. The though. warm? And it was a warmer color. But then at the end of the hall, it's okay, just a tree, just the tree branch. Is that a tree? Yes, it's just this branch right here. What do you see? What do so, you see? So probably, I'm hoping, my mind is saying it's going to be a tree branch at the end of the hall, but it was a squeaking of like a door at the end of the hall towards like the right side. I'm hoping we go down there and we see um, 
more trees up against a window mm -hmm. or on top of that we have the same situation that we have here where right we're constantly hearing it every now and then but i definitely heard something there was a, a very like creaking of like a door yeah, there was definitely a loud noise from down that hall. There was a loud yes. noise down the it hall was the right. It was distinctly different than this consistent kind of screeching noise from across the hall. It, it definitely sounded like it came from down the hallway. Because when you looked, you froze, I heard something, and I went... Again. It's freaking me out. It's... All right, well... It's like, it's a constant hey, let me use your light, because it's... it's, it's I don't want to bias what you saw. definitely a tree. I'm not seeing anything reflecting. Wait a minute. If I hit this left wall, I'm getting oh, uh, like shame. a, like if a you want smaller to get a little... reflection. Yeah, so if I hit Give this left reason. wall, I can see a reflection in the left mirror. Cool. Or the That's left what window. That's what, I need. That's what I need. Wait a minute. There we go. See that, this window? Look at that. You see when I kind of Body is really right. like tense. That's what I'm hoping it is. There's a, a little glint. I don't know. It's it's definitely one of those situations where like you hear anything, uh, you even think of anything, and you kind of like you you, you kind of just conjure it up yourself. The sounds and and everything like that, especially the sounds. But oh my god. It's, it's always, for a split second, unsettling. Um, but it's, it's just not a, it's not a place you want to be in. It's just really not. This is, I'll, I'll be honest, like, you think abandoned hospital and it's like, okay, that's, that's definitely going to suck. But when you come in and you see these deep, dark rooms with everything just torn up, on the ground and it has a basement that's just so wide and these dark hallways and these deep corners it's um it, it's definitely up there in terms of like what you don't want to experience for someone like me that like doesn't believe in this kind of stuff but doesn't want to attempt it in any way shape or form um so i'm just i'm trying to like shake it off so i can actually talk to you guys and be a part of a conversation. Um, but I'm definitely uh, struggling to keep it together because <laughs> this, is, this is a lot. All right, I'm gonna go mess with these branches and just see if I can recreate this. Yeah, you can see it. It's this particular branch, I think. This is also regrettably poison ivy. I, no, is it? All right, all right, we're, you know, we're making some moves. We're figuring things out. What is this? like a religious painting. It's almost like the Virgin Mary. Yeah, and then there's Joseph, huh? Interesting. All right, let's go connect with Fredo. So here's, I think it's, you're seeing the reflection of your lens yeah, for without sure. this light. See, like I can aim at the floor, but if I like hold it just right, I can catch a reflection. You might be able to catch it the sucks. same. It sucks, reflection. that noise yeah. sucks. There we go. Mm -hmm. See? I think that might be what, is that what you saw perhaps? I know it's the same temperature as this light, but. Uh, yeah, because I'm saying right here, there's a, there's a little like um, a sink mirror yeah. and I'm seeing it slightly reflect every now and then. But like around right here, I heard. Uh-huh. I heard like a creaking noise. Okay. Which I'm, which I'm gonna chalk it up to being like a branch all along a window. If we go there and check out check out rooms right. and there's and there's no and just clear windows, then I'm gonna be right a little puzzled. But but yeah, let's let's continue. All right. It's definitely that. It, it's like yeah. I got it close and I can hear exactly. What's yeah, going. but what I heard definitely wasn't that because my head was peeking yeah. out of the corner and from there I was splitting my ears down the hall and to my left where there was a deeper like tone to it underneath it too. Yeah. There's a, that's just a scree- that's freaky. That's freakier. Oh man, this was definitely some sort of- oh. someone got in here and like- Someone got in here and thought this was the perfect room. This is not the room I'm walking in. Thought that was the perfect room to summon something. Mm-hmm. 
We like these hard hardwood shelves, wood paneling, extra books. You know, it had the whole look. Dude, these rooms, um, these rooms are getting bigger. <laughs> are they, yeah, they, yeah, they kind of are. So now you can like flash back and, and imagine this being in the works. People walking around here, Strowman, Roland, living. This was like a shared living room, dining room area. This couch is original. Yeah. So like nuns would be coming in here, sitting on this couch, reading one of these books right here. You wanna walk in here? Oh man. I mean, I'm not going first, but I'll come in after you. Ooh, this painting didn't have a good time. It's like clawed apart. Oh, great. Well, I wanted to avoid that room. Oh, damn it. Now we're in it. <laughs> I didn't even notice that these connected. Let's see what kind of books we've got here. Oh, these are, in, yeah, Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia Britannica. These are going to be very up to date. Um, this one goes all the way from Mary B to Mushi. Um, what? Game to Gunma. These are also way out of order, and that's bothering me immensely. Um, puppet on a chain. The Satan bug? All right. Okay. I'm moving along. Wait, does it really say the Satan bug? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Felt like I, I don't know. Felt like I saw Shadow move into that last room on the left from this direction. It's on this room. This, this one has a branch kind of a little bit up against the window. It's, it's possible that that one made the sound. Especially since, what's down this way, a little? I just keep thinking I'm gonna see something pop out of it. Cause I'll catch like a glimpse oh, of it, look. you know? And I remember there's that long cross hallway underneath us. Yeah. So there's no trees here. It's probably just more um, roof. Yeah, I imagine so. It's soft. More rooms. Yep. Some luggage. Sink. This bathroom. seems like a kitchen. Oh god. Oh, this I don't know what this is. But... Probably just like newer wiring for like fire safety and stuff for some knitting thing. Oh god. Oh god. Is this a stairwell? Is this three floors? No, it's got to lead to the roof, right? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a that's a terrible sound, dude. Got it. All right. This is the balcony. I heard you like to push people up here, grab them, sometimes choke them. If you're feeling saucy, we'd love to see your presence on this reader we have here. If you want, you can mess with this. It's essentially a, a tattoo incarnate, all right? It's like a walking, sitting tattoo. Go for it. Just anything and everything. To really just like, dig it in all. I am sweating so hard right now. I feel like I have a headache again, coming into this room. Is it the asbestos, or is it this room? Or is it both? The asbestos. These asbestos tiles. Where we want to turn off the lights. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Everyone keep. Oh man, I'm still I'm keep a couple, a couple feet away from each other. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just gonna like try to listen. No accidental bumps or anything. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. Block door. Oh no, this is a double door. Oh, this is stairs. It will be fine. It'd be, it'd be nice if you just. You know, yeah, yeah, there you go. Fine. Just sit next to the door, car. Okay. No, I get it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just using you as a shield. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there'd be. Oh. <clears throat> I felt like a. I'm just hoping that it was like my shirt sticky to me and then it like right. just moving. Stick. Yeah, stick. but it felt like it felt like someone took a piece of my sleeve and like like it went like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't like that. Try not to move too much and see what happens. Yeah, there's no way you could pay me to be in this place by myself. God no. Did you touch my arm? I'm 
struggle saying this one. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'll give you one chance to uh, toggle my sleeve again. If you'd like, just the one time. All right. Then I heard a little bit of sound down in there again, but not really much. Yeah. I'll chalk that sleeve movement up to like sticky, cause it's humid. I mean, you can start to see it on me now, but like, just like settling shirt. I don't know, that was weird. Okay. I wish I didn't move, I wish I like let it happen, but like it startled me too much. Knowing that we're getting further and further towards the end of this is what we're leaving. Yeah, one chapter done, full upstairs. All right, so we're gonna go downstairs next. A lot of the medical rooms, Surgical facilities, nurse station, etc. On the first floor? Uh, yeah, on the floor just below us. Okay. In particular, we have Dr. Leon Norversky, who has, uh, you know, they've been a doctor, a medical professional here. Right. Seems that they might have had some malpractice issues, some patients passing away under their knife, under surgeries. On purpose? I, I'm not exactly sure. I hope not. Yeah. Um, but some people have questioned his fatal operations with that very same question. Was this intentional or was this just right. an accident? So, let's Isn't, take a look. It seems like there's a big list of different kinds of- Oh my gosh, yes. Characters and personalities that have oh, yeah. walked these halls. So, while the uh, basement seems like the pièce de résistance, did that just go up? Is it flickering? It, what? it definitely did. I saw it on your face. Okay. Let's see if it's a fluke. If that's you turning on our device, can you do that again? Are you one of the nuns? I squeeze that a little bit. Are you Dr. Leon Norwerski? Maybe rub your face again as you did. So I went like this. Yeah. And do it then, like as, as the same yeah. as you did. So I just went like happened. this. And I squeeze it a little bit and it went mm -hmm. like this. And then it shot up to red. Then I instantly held it in front of me. And then it flickered a little bit to red again. Mm -hmm. Like, it couldn't be more clear because I held it up against my face. Right, I saw your face like get a yeah. flicker of red. All right, well it is said that the hospital area... That's the creaking of a door. I'm gonna chalk that up to win, but that was definitely... I mean, this moved and then I heard... Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I believe it's that door. I believe it's that door. The, the medical rooms are told to be the most active rooms, despite the basement being what seems like to us the most eerie. That's just uh, It's gotta be the shrubbery, right? It's wind and shrubbery. I wanna leave this room because I'm starting to build a headache on the left side, like, like here. Like right here. It's settling into like the right lobe. here. Yeah, I'd like to get out. I will oh. say for whatever it's worth, uh huh. Right before Alfred, your EMF meter went up, mm -hmm. I heard a bunch of shuffling from the front of the chapel. The front of the chapel? Yeah. Like mm. over the balcony. That's where we heard. We heard shuffling towards the end. Yeah. It sounded like just bushes. So again, I'm going to chalk that up to that. Um, but I did see you looking over there constantly. So we obviously are coming back from the second floor. Uh, we were up around those doors where there's glass windows in the doors. Didn't hear any of the, the common tapping that people have referred to before. So this, this yep. is the nurse's station. Yeah, looks it's very like much a, like it. Typical nurse's station. Mm -hmm. It's even like pages of stuff. Cigarette buds, chapstick. Damn, this place is falling apart. These are your hospice beds. So like two patients per room? Seems like it. Pretty standard, I suppose. Bathroom. Oh, Jack and Jill. This leads oh, into yeah. there. Uh, bathtub, bathroom. Very spotty looking pillow. It's, I'm kind of hoping that there's no bed bugs in that. I'm not trying to take that home. Yeah. That's the one kind of ghost you don't want. This is just wild to think about. It's just a lot of older stuff that's just been sitting here. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a clipboard right here. Yeah, like, a nurse or a doctor comes through, picks this up, checks on a patient that literally, in factual history, is laid right there. 
Might have even like unfortunately passed, passed away, away, right? But that's this is just wild. I guess they fenced some of these rooms that are more hazardous. Yeah, it seems like it. I, I think there's like a, a very false sense of confidence that's coming through me right now and mm -hmm. it's making me feel more comfortable as I go and explore and spend more time in this area, which is not good because you don't want to be... Letting your guard down? <laughs> what? A tiny chair for baby hands? Baby hands. Baby hands have been here. Baby hands has uh, been here. I love that. Really started falling apart. Look at the ceiling. You can see all the beams. Mm-hmm. Wait, was that the kitchen? No, it looks like we I mean, I don't know they're mixing. Let me, let me check out what you got going on. I'll come back I to this. I know. It's like... Like this where you... Like a... Oh, is that an operating table? No way. No. That's not. Cause are these things built onto that table or are they like sat on it? Cause it, otherwise it could be an operating room. Oh, you know what? It really could be an operating room. Should it's a lab. I... It's a lab, yeah, that makes sense. Well, yeah. well all right, well, thanks yeah, Shane. That, that makes sense, <laughs> thanks. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. I liked my investigation better. <laughs> so, I think it's one thing to note that, obviously my phone mm -hmm. triggers the EMF reader. Right. Literally trigger it by turning on and off the sleep mode on my phone. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you know, then the flip side of that is I was bringing it up towards my temple, etc. I'm gonna chalk it up to I received some messages. Yeah. And, Computer brain. Well, you know, I got some messages in my back pocket, and then that's what set it off. Oh, that's true. That's, it could be that. It could be that. That's where my mind. That's like it conducted, or that. maybe yeah. Yeah. You are also holding it with the hand that has your watch on it. Ooh. Ooh! So the message would buzz this, would buzz that. Yeah. I didn't see your watch light up, but it's Actually, a good theory. I do like that. New phone. Watch isn't connected to my phone yet. Hmm. I don't know, but, but it's good thinking. But it's still on. Is this open to the just environment? Yeah. Oh. Wild. Doctor Leon. Try your last name, Dr. Nowierski. My worst nightmare would be something stomping and just sprinting full just, out, uh, full tilt down this hallway. Whoa. I believe there's a surgical room right over here. To the right. Look at these. Holy hell. Blood gas analyzer. Man, computers and technology were very scary when they were just emerging. Yep. Like, just make sure this one switch is just right or it'll explode. Just imagine, like, those beds being wheeled through, slamming oh, open these yeah, doors. This is a surgical room, emergency room, for the ER. Is the doctor in? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Is that real? Well, it is right now. Jesus. Did you do this, doctor? Perhaps you can move something, make a noise. Just say it's not real. We're about to go see Stacy. Does that anger you? Does that upset you? Stacy might have been one of uh, the doctor's victims, it seems. Really? Yeah. Jesus. Not like he's like, but yeah, regardless. Unfortunate. Mm hmm. Under the scalpel and everything. Unfortunate surgery. Man, I could really see how your eyes might play tricks when you're looking down at a hall yeah, like this. I mean, like, just with the flashlight alone, the shadows itself. <sighs> My body is so tense. Mm-hmm. Trying to relax a bit. 
need a massage after this. <laughs> I know, oh my goodness. Boy, would that be nice. Where's that stair again? Back this way. All right. This is gonna suck. Oh. Cause at least up there you saw windows, you saw the outside. This is just like, this is like diving into hell. Yep. Smells like it too. This is the laundry room. Boiler room first or? Yeah, let's take us to, take to the laundry room, or the uh, boiler room. Do we go past the wall? <clears throat> no. Okay. That'll give us a chance to listen in and... Yeah, outside of Stacy, the uh, only real activity down here is by the case of the double homicide, which Why happened dark on the floor? around here. Do you see that? Why is the floor black? Is it? Is it? Oh, it's wet. Oh, it is. It is very wet. So this is the boiler room in here? It looks like it's hard. Okay, that doesn't move. Oh man, why is every room here deep? Oh my god. Okay, I'll let you have it. Oh my god. Oh, this is a boiler room. Yep. You got a brighter flashlight. Apparently those blood stains are in here somewhere. Man, someone killed someone in here. Yeah. Oh my God, this area sucks. Oh man. So there was a murder that took place here. A double homicide. Mm-hmm. So a man found his wife sleeping with someone else. And so he went to the kitchen here, grabbed a knife, killed both his significant other and her lover, as, and, and apparently himself as well. And we're told that the blood stains left by the act are still on the, oh my God. Is this it? No way, that's just water from outside. We're told that they're still here somewhere. I would imagine by now that they would be quite faded. And covered up. We are in the boiler room of an abandoned haunted hospital. Where people have what been are we? slain. Ugh, what are we like. doing, man? I really, you know what? I actually kind of don't want to find it. I don't want to find it. Um, it's just something you don't want to see. Right. I mean, obviously, you watching at home do want to see that. I, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. But let me tell you, if I don't, it's not the worst thing in the world. Me being here right now. Is any of this it? Oh. I don't think so. I mean, if I were to call any stain on this wall potential old, old blood, it would be, that. It would be this. After looking at all the walls. But I would be inclined to say that pipe with this splatter uh, has more yeah. to do with it. But I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, these columns maybe. It's hard to know. I think that's the call. I mean, like even like this place during its heyday, like when everything was was fine, when everything was fine, when everything is okay, like why would you even go to this boiler room? Even if you told me that this place was blessed and it's, it's heaven and, and it's a fantastical place, I wouldn't even want to step foot down here. There's just no way. We're in the basement, period. Oh. I don't know if this says God does or doesn't exist, but either way, it's still freaking me out. Okay. Stacy, did you have a chance to uh, play with our ball? Let's stop for a second. Just listen. I 
keep hearing little squeaks like that. Yeah, I think it might just be the tree. I mean, it just sounds very much like that. All right. Thankfully, no thumps. Stacy, we might have to go soon. So if you wanted to play, what? This is a little buzz in my ear. <laughs> oh, that scared me. A little fly went. If you wanted to play, now's the time to do so. It's always when you break the tension that the actual scare comes right after that. Yeah. You know, I've seen enough movies now. All right, so where is this ball? Oh uh, yeah, let's go find the ball. I'm like brave now because I know we're nearing the end. So I'm just like, okay, where is this? I could tell you were you were picking up some steam because every now and then you'd start leading. You'd start like meandering out front. Yeah, I mean, again, that's that false sense of like security uh -huh. where I, I, you know, I've been in this place long enough roaming around where it's just like, well, I'm in it. I'm like, unfortunately getting used to it. Right. And that's how you end up, that's how you end up getting caught. That's how all these paranormal investigators get ballsy enough to say, hey, Kick it in this room by yourself. Yeah. Talk yeah. to it. Taunt no, it. Exactly. That's that's when that happens. It, you know, it, it was it's a hundred percent no, but being here for a bit, it's now ninety nine point nine percent. That's a no, and that's big for Fredo. That's big. What you don't know is that like, even though I've been getting more confidence, right? And I say that my body sense, my mm -hmm. flashlight has been it is kind of like the the scared extension of myself because well, what you don't see is I'm flashing it around like crazy on every dark corner like just like a little just whoop 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 whoop, whoop everywhere and um, trying to keep myself sane all right Stacy we're coming to get the ball we're gonna be leaving now unfortunately we need to take it's it in, home it's in here and here and then to the right oh gosh really Okay, well, that feels like just a separate entrance. That feels like a prank. I don't, I don't have that much confidence. That feels like a prank, dude. All right, this doesn't open up in this. I'm, I know you're sleeping, but. Oh, that's Cockroaches everywhere. All right, that helps. All still here? Yeah, right where we in left the same it. Position. Here's the thing: no windows in this room. That is true. It'd be, I, I haven't felt, we've wandered around the basement. I haven't felt a single breeze. Um, okay. Ball didn't move. Ball didn't move. Ball did not move. Well, we want to do be like a, like a Space Jam situation. Just suck up all the goofs. Just like they sucked up all the NBA players' talents. Yeah, that could be what happened. Do we want to do another sitting here in night vision mode? It might be worth it. One last little time. Where would I put my back to every, everything sucks. What's that? There's like a little, I thought that was you. No, it sounded like someone called like, hello, in the distance. Yeah, I thought that was you. My nope. Back. I was looking at this thing. I figured that might have been one of you guys. Hello? Stacy, is that you? I have your ball. I'm going to be leaving now. The, the ball is going to be coming with us. We're going to hang out for just a second. We'll turn off the lights. This is your last chance. We would love to play with you. Here's the ball here. Here's the pretty ball. Go ahead and give it a kick. Kick it in any direction you'd like. No pressure, lights are off. My back is to literally the worst everything. Yep. Oh my God, this is a bad idea. We all have to do. It's a big breeze. The ball's not moving. I'm not going to 
I'm feeling the breeze. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing some faint noises outside of the scratching. Stacy, if you're there, we won't look. Go ahead and give the bowl a nice little shove. All right. I think it's time to go home, Stacy. We will not be returning, unfortunately. Thank you, I'm only doing this. <laughs> this is. Do you stay down here to stay away from the doctor? Do you like the doctor? These questions are too real. Apparently, yeah, the doctor had given her a book. That. Oh my god. Is this where we start to pack up to go home? Mm -hmm. Trying to keep myself together with all this because, I mean, honestly, it's not just an abandoned hospital, right? Like, there's religion tied to this place, there's a lot of history tied to this place, there's a chapel, a basement with a boiler, like, this um, thing, this cage. Yeah, there's just, I mean, this, what more could you ask for? Right? If, like, if you're exploring, if you're looking you want, for if you're something looking spooky, for this, right? like, everything that kept popping up, I just kept going, of course they have this, this, <laughs> like, terrifying thing. Right. It's a very interesting place. It's a bummer we didn't, I don't feel like got anything super strong, but we'll, we'll wind down and see. But you know what, you know, like, that's, that's the thing about um, hunting ghosts and exploring a place like this. Sometimes it's just about exploring it. Yeah. And I feel like as far as the audio podcast portion of this <laughs> production is concerned, I feel like it's just kind of being in the moment with us. Almost like an ASMR ghost hunt. Yeah. But... Um, um, very much so. It's, I mean, you know, we're trying new things and... Uh -huh. And obviously, if we have more opportunities to do this, I can't believe I'm saying this, but like, we'll continue to refine and who knows, maybe I start building up more confidence to be able to get more involved. Like, I am right now talking in the basement of a hospital. <laughs> but like, yeah, I mean, it, it's fun. And we say this a lot of times with Red Web, it's fun to explore and try new things. And, and see what, what works, what we like, what we don't like. And this is just something that's different, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's like, okay, we explore mysteries and cryptids and internet mysteries and uh, murder cases, but exploring and being in here with us, hearing it or, or not hearing it because it's, everything's just so tense with, with the group roaming around this ghostly place. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really interesting. And not all places will be haunted mansions or asylums or yes. hospitals. Sometimes, you know, we'll be looking for that hidden key in San Francisco, perhaps someday, or, or chasing like down a where treasure hunt. Bigfoot had the you know, most, right. most seen locations of Bigfoot or something like that. Skinwalker Ranch, yeah. sighting locations, and all sorts of stuff. There's, the world is our oyster. This is us scratching the surface. So yeah. if you enjoyed it, let us know. You can comment here on YouTube, you can comment on our app and website at Rooster Teeth, plenty of different ways. You know what, I find like maybe maybe this is where we wrap up. We don't need to sit down at those mics. I kind of like wrapping up here with you. Yeah, yeah. And it's not going to sound as clean, but we're in it. And, we're and, in it right and now. And like the belly of the beast. We just, Literally. <laughs> like I'm, let me tell you, my body is physically ready to take this home. Mm -hmm. My God. Not the spirits. Maybe, no, maybe take, the memories take in <laughs> myself home right now. Yeah, um, this was a uh, an experience for sure, but I'm ready for it to be over. Yeah, I, I this is oof, a couple hours of me trying to hold it together and not lose my sh <laughs> and not freak out and yeah. I just didn't want to repeat myself a million times, freaking out my own head, be like, mm mm, nah, don't want to be here, f this, I ain't messing with that, why are we doing this? A lot of that was going through my head, but a lot of times I was just like, 
I was like, just keep it focused, like point the flashlight, like give vision to my area, and uh, yeah, I'd stay in my own head in order not to freak out. So mm -hmm. I'm ready to go home. Let's go home, let's crash, let's sleep, let's move past it another day, put this one in the books, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. Gotta make our way out now. <laughs> this is the final stretch. This is the best part, is making our way out. I mean, I will say this is just like one hell of an experience exploring some, like a place like this in person, you know, not sitting at the comfort at our, of our, at our table, recording it and being comfortable. It's like really being in the trenches, sweating, being terrified, exploring all of this. This was terrifying and dare I say a bit exciting all at the same time. I have too much confidence in me right now. I'm proud of you. Um, you kicked ass, you came in, you conquered your fear. Oh man. Woo! Oh thank God, dude. We did it. Oh. We did it.